What's goody collective? It is your girl Blue, and I'm back with a quick message for us today. So come on in, y'all. Let's get these messages from Spirit real quick. How you doing? How you doing today? What you doing for, for Turkey Day? Okay, what you doing? All right. <laughs> Let me know down there in the comments. All right, we're going to get these messages real quick. I want to tap in and see what you don't see coming in the next 48, okay? All right, um, I had a few people say, do more of those. So let's do them joints, okay? All right, so we're going to get, I'm just doing a little pre-shuffle here. I do feel as though there is something that's being cut off, Spirit. Won't you cut something off or something is something, it's something about something being cut off. I saw the scythe in this um, deck as I was pre-shuffling also to have faith and trust and there's something here about honoring your intuition paying attention to the red flags and also i saw a white flag i went on a walk and um let me turn the music down a little bit i'll meditate y'all okay but i went on a walk and on the walk first of all fairies could be symbolic or significant um right now or a wish or i don't know some type of possible like elemental assistance some sort of assistance from nature something natural is what i'm hearing okay all right i don't know about fairies being natural but hey maybe in another dimension you know what i'm saying that could be significant as well <laughs> you could be getting into some like rabbit hole type shit in the next four to eight hours okay like a deep dive is what i heard okay so a water sign could be significant pisces scorpio cancer this could be of course it could be in your chart all right but your um affirmation card for the day okay you got a paragraph okay so let's read this hope um i connect with my intuition and higher self through meditation visualization shamanic journeying and being a part of spiritual communities so in the next 48 hours you connect them more with you, with your higher self, okay? You're tapping into high priestess energy. So you may even notice that your intuition is a little stronger right now. As of right now, let me not let me not lie, because you know the moon be void for a little while. But I know this morning when I checked, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> Look, y'all, you got 22 right there. And then 111 right there, okay? Wake up, wake up, wake up, okay? <laughs> but the moon was in Pisces today. Unless a person gives up, he is stronger than his fate, okay? It is now in Aries. So an Aries or a Pisces could be significant. This morning it was still in Pisces, but now it is in Aries, okay? All right, the affirmation here says, I end up winning in every situation. You bet... I'm gonna need you to put that in the comments. I went, what? <laughs> I end up winning in every situation. Say that shit, claim that shit, know that shit, believe that shit, be that shit, okay? Let's get some words from the little mystery box, all right? So go ahead, grab your couple words. Go. Gra grab the words, not so we can go ahead and get the read started. Now you ain't grabbed them yet. The one came out collective. Okay, you got three that and came out. Let's see what these words are for what you do not see coming in the next 48. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so oh, what the fuck? Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Bring that shit back. Rewind a little bit. What is this? Yo. zero four zero four o'clock somebody could be trying to target your stability why spirit y'all already know i'm like why what's the point but look y'all casting evil evil spells in the fucking magician that's not it only three things came out that whole box now the dark web ninja first of all i really don't know i just know that like some really evil shit goes on in the dark web. And then you have this here, like someone is trying to bind you up. Excuse me. Something about drinking too, okay? Something could be trying to tempt you. Be careful about leaving your drinks just out 
and about okay <laughs> be careful about just leaving especially if you go and you visiting folks for thanksgiving or something like that okay and you put your drink down in a place that you really don't you ain't too familiar with be careful okay because something okay because i don't like putting it on a person let's just say there is an energy all right <laughs> that is trying to bind you up in some kind of like web y'all casting evil spells what the fuck is let's get into it all right let's get into it we're gonna roll the astrology dice okay i don't know what that means but we finna i got the uh thing here hold on now hold on collector all right so you got i don't know the symbols y'all all right a leo could be significant all right because you got the the that the that okay so a leo all right the number two this could be your life path number okay or you could be a leo all right what's two what's in the second house first house is aries so the second house is what taurus yeah i want to say it's taurus let's see i got it written down somewhere hold on y'all hold on yeah taurus represents money somebody trying to fuck with your money my ninja the eight of pentacles is here too bro Somebody trying to fuck with your money. Is that what we doing? Okay. Represents money, belongings of monetary value, poorness or wealth, missing items or theft. Somebody, okay. What's the last one? What is this? It look like Venus. It is. Okay. So Venus could be significant. All right. A Taurus or a Libra. So you got Taurus, Libra okay um gemini with this magician right here leo all right and then we said water signs at the beginning but y'all please pick up what resonates lead the rest all right every reading may not be yours some of the reading may be yours you know what i'm saying so just please pick up what resonate lead the rest for your brothers and sisters okay so let's see what you don't see coming in the next 48 hours i'm telling you that go to scythe again my ninjas y'all cutting something out cut something cut something okay oh oh a leo could be very significant here and a water sign definitely a looks like a balanced water sign you got the king of cups and i'm sorry of hearts right the king and queen of hearts which is cups that's love that's water you understand pisces scorpio cancer leo wait a minute higher self okay that's the soul that's your higher self now nah. all right so i'm about pork okay or couldn't look y'all y'all got two scythes here two scythes <laughs> something getting cut the fuck off y'all could be cutting out pork okay but shit i don't know we gonna find out all right but yes, you got the um, the high priestess here now, nah. okay? And you got the temperance right up under that. And that go the higher self, okay? What the heck? Let's talk about this, y'all. All right, so what is the collective cutting off? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, sh okay, you got the 10 of pentacles. Family could be significant. Again, money, okay? Stability right oh god mm. all right the number eight could be significant again leo energy okay with the it's giving me strength okay <laughs> it's giving me strength so something could be assisting you to give you the strength to get through this shit okay a sagittarius could be significant with the temperance sitting over here but this is the ten of pentacles y'all something's being cut off all right, this says the scythe presages disappointment and when near the coffin, early death. Ain't no coffin out here, y'all, so don't worry about that. Okay, and then the um the eight of cups. Something's being cut off and walked the fuck away from in the next four to eight hours, nah. Mm, I just, y'all. Give me a minute, please. This be some of this shit just be too much. It's just like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why people be trying? Anyway, help me get these folks the message, not spurred, okay? Oh, Lord. The cat indicates flattery. 
if near number six, I don't see no sixes out here, but 88 could be significant. 888 eight, eight could be significant. You got the eight of pentacles, the eight of cups, and the number eight right there. Damn. Anyway, the cat indicates flattery if near six. Foretells personal injury near 29 and 30 if denote, wait, and if, wait, ip it, ip it. <laughs> 30 denotes strife. I don't see any of those numbers out here, but I don't like none of that shit. Like somebody is trying to be nice to you or kind to you or some shit, but they want to really injure you and cause strife. <laughs> spirit tell me what the fuck okay help me help me god Just, somebody want to win at any cost here give me a second child what does the collective not see coming in the next 48 can you tell me about this magician casting evil spells in the dark web oh my god Uh, 11 16 on the clock so november the 16th could have been a very significant day all right or the 21st of november that's yesterday all right <clears throat> this is the six of wands okay with the six clubs here all right that's the six of wands it says oh god lightning denotes surprise the six of wands and surprise like something is gonna catch someone off guard and it it sounds like something is being done in the public this is for literally i don't know <laughs> y'all pick up what resonate because i know this ain't for everybody but this sounds like some conspiracy shit to me too like conspiracy theory conspiracy theorist okay something about i don't know something about conspiracies here or something like I'm even hearing uh oh son okay hold on oh my pussy. uh what do you call it H humiliation ritual or something like you know how in Hollywood and shit like that or in the you know dark web type shit or like you know what I'm saying that rabbit hole type shit like they do um humiliation rituals right like they said that the what Will Smith is going through is a humiliation ritual so he could get gain more in Hollywood in the long run, right? Okay, if y'all don't know about all that shit. <laughs> anyway. Oh, fuck no, y'all. Look. The tower with lightning ninjas? That's a lot of... <sighs> okay. On the bottom of the deck, you have 49... I feel, and then it's the I. This is giving me high priestess energy again. Please follow your intuition. Don't lay your cup down around nobody. Peep these hoes out. I don't care who they are. Okay, we done gave you some signs. Okay. <laughs> Shit. And look, look, 11.55, okay? Stick with your conviction. Somebody could be born in 1955, okay? 2011, all right, stick with your convictions and do not allow others to deter or hinder you in any way once you have made your true heart's desire and soul calling. Listen to your own intuition. Please, I'm telling you, you were not led here to this video for no reason. Spirit, help me give everybody a message, please, who's here for this. Please help me give them clarity, God, so we could get the fuck. You understand? Because ain't nobody got time. All right, 66 could be significant as well. It's like somebody wants to disrupt your harmony, disrupt your stability. Somebody wants you tied up. And I heard uninspired. Y'all, I'm getting upset. We're not going to be here long because I'm ready to fight these hoes. Okay, spirit, help me remember that everything's starting to spirit around so I don't put my hands on nobody. Okay, thank you, God. Okay, what they don't see coming in the next 48. You have the letter here with the number 15 and the king of pentacles the king of pentacles capricorn virgo taurus energy right is very much stable right he's wealthy he's generous he's nurturing he's kind he's honest you know what i'm saying okay 
All right, it says the letter is a sign of good tidings when near and when touching indicates unexpected good fortune. Somebody here is about to be, listen, I'm gonna tell you what I'm feeling, okay? Okay, something about the heart, okay? <laughs> the fuck that like a real heart, okay? Lit, and then it's the nine of pentacles. Look, I don't know who I'm talking to specifically right now, but the energy that I'm picking up on it's someone who is working towards something. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you give back to your community or you believe in equal reciprocity. You know that whatever you put out, you're going to get back, right? I feel like the person I'm talking to today does not do no bullshit like what's on this table. So I'm feeling like this is an outside energy. Of course, though, pick up what resonates. You could be the evil magician out that hole. I don't know. Put the energy where you go. Okay. All right. Okay. But somebody wants to win at any cost. My question be like, why spirit jealousy? I mean, because why else? Okay, then you got the will of fortune, the 10 of pentacles again. 10, 10 could be significant. Something's going to change in a family dynamic. Okay. Give me a minute. My head just started. Somebody could even be trying to send you psychic attacks. Get your... Get your protection up, baby, okay? Let me go put on my Gayatri mantra necklace, okay? Because, nigga, what the fuck? Um, Anna Bacoa, that prayer could be significant or could could really um, be helpful right now to you. Don't ask me how to spell it, but I think it's like A-N-A-B, Anna B A K O A C H. Don't quote. It's a sacred prayer, okay? But get your 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 protection up, baby, okay? If you need to wear your wear your crystals, okay? I'm put some shit on because you know just got me fucked up, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, what the fuck? All right, but anyway, I feel as though you are working on something. You're mastering something, right? You're really good at something. And whatever this is that you're, even if this is just looking good, you're good at looking good. It's something about somebody wanting to knock you down a few pegs is what I heard. A, a ship could be significant or sailing, boats, fucking Captain Hook, Peter Pan, got name. Okay, <laughs> peg, <laughs> peg leg. Somebody could have like a, um, not a decapitation law. What is it called? Uh y'all when when you get your leg cut off amputation thank you god um somebody could have like an amputation or something or work in a medical field okay <clears throat> all right but these cars the things you don't see coming is you're not you don't see this shit coming like you you're not gonna see something good is happening for you there may be a lot of chaos around you currently though but i'm feeling like the chaos that's what be so crazy to be these folks be out here thinking they doing something and casting spells and shit like that whole time they don't even realize that it's working in our favor even they bullshit works in our favor period you know what i'm saying like get the fuck out of here with the spell work like what are we doing kitchen magician type shit that's what i feel you know what i'm saying be careful. Pray over your food, my ninjas. This can definitely be in a family dynamic. I don't even like to go there with this shit. Ew. Tell me about the... Let's put this... Tell me about this evil-ass magician, okay? A Aries could be significant. A father figure, okay? Or a boss could be significant here, all right? A masculine energy, okay? This is supposed to be divine masculine, but... We'll see. Okay, somebody is focused on some shit that didn't already happen. Excuse me, I'm going to take that burp as confirmation. <laughs> but somebody pissed off about some shit that didn't already happen. And the crazy thing is, is that while they're upset and they're looking at what you're establishing, they're missing out on their own blessings, right? It's so crazy because they're using energy to focus on you. And they're going to miss out on the blessing God got for them. Lord bless him, God. Help him, Lord, because what the food? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> Let's use our time wisely and be constructive with some shit, okay? Tell me about this. Um, fuck the, oof. Jesus, help me. Help me get the message I got. I'm trying to not get in my uh, feelings. 
Okay, cause who the fuck out here trying to mess with the collective like this is stupid. Okay, <clears throat> this could be a, you could, okay, this could be somebody you have partnered up with. This could be a lover. Okay, put the energy where it goes. This is definitely somebody, okay. So many messages. Give me a second. Definitely medical background here or something in the medical field. Either this person could have some kind of medical or uh, I just heard mental illness. They must do have a mental illness. They coming after the damn collective for what? Anyway, um, but the caduceus is right here, right? The, the line and a Leo could be very significant, okay? I'm hearing cherubim as well, okay? Ooh, it's something about a spirit over you or around you. That is not like, it's, it's not a normal spirit, okay? I'm seeing like, in the Bible, they be talking about like, they described what the angels look like. And it was like wheels and, you know, had four heads. And one of them hoes was like, made me think of like the, um, the, the will of fortune in the world type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But it had like the four heads, the head of a man, the head of a lion, the head of an ox or some shit. And the head of something else that is, is giving me that type of energy. Like whatever, uh... Whoever this angel or this spirit is that is around you, you may even feel like ain't shit around you right now because there may be some things that are shifting in your life or something that may feel a little chaotic or not. I don't know. Just something may feel chaotic right now. That could, Anyway, whatever. It's a spirit around you. It's not like a normal spirit, though. Oh, my. Oh, so. Mm. Osan, what? O S A N, O S I N could be. I don't know. Even those letters could be significant. Osan is what I just heard. Osan, Olsen, Olsen. I don't know, y'all. Okay, but two of cups is here. Okay, that is partnership. All right. Somebody here is led by their heart and somebody is led by passion. That's giving me very much water and fire. Okay. You see even earth. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe because it's green. It just gave me heart vibes. Okay. All right. But this is the high priestess, right? This is the fool, right? Aries, Aquarius, uh, Pisces energy. Your energy came out as the high priestess, regardless of what your sign is, okay, y'all? We could tap into every sign, okay? <laughs> we could tap into the energy, rather. Let me say that. 22 could be significant. But, yeah, he has red around his head. Red is about passion, right? And green is, is love. That's heart, right? I mean, it's... Anyway... I'm also thinking money. <laughs> Somebody could be driven by money. Okay, spirit, give me more. Tell me about this magician casting evil spells, please. So the collective can st stay clear of this energy. And we need to know how to stay clear of that spirit. But tell me more about it first, please. Okay. All right, this card over here is sticking out to me. It says, I am patient and flexible and trust that the universe is working on my behalf to bring my desires into the physical realm. Again, temperance of Sagittarius could be significant, okay? You could have had a dream, a very significant dream recently. All right, it's something about, a, like, you remember this dream, okay? This is somebody who you didn't partied with, then had a good time with. Okay, there's some sort of lesson being learned here. Okay, all right, okay, mm-hmm. Hold on. A Taurus could be significant. There's something about a tradition being broken here. Or something's not traditional or something. All right, you could have broke broken out of some sort of tradition or something. This is giving me very much Thanksgiving. Look at the fuck. Okay, this is giving me okay. Next 48 spirit. Tell me about this magician. What's up with him? Y'all, you got two, three, four. All right, you got two of cups, three of cups, four of swords. Two two thirty-four. Then you got, okay, the four of swords is here. Dreams, once again, you could have dreamt about this person. 
or I don't know, it's something significant here about dreams. This part, four, two, three, four, four. Okay. Lots of doubles coming out. 44. All right. This person could be targeting your connections, your sleep, and your home. It's something about good times. Like both of these cards are like about celebrating, having a good time, enjoying life, right? Okay, I just heard living in the present moment. Tell me about the magician sphere. Who is this to the collective? For the magician and casting evil spells to come out of all them words, y'all. Take heed to the message, please. This is really uh, irritating the fuck out of me. This could be somebody's daddy, somebody's boss, or a very significant masculine energy in your life. What are their intentions for the collective, this magician? Where, where are they targeting their energy towards the collective what are they what what the fuck are they doing oh they want to fuck with your intuition and your family the fuck? and they've been doing this shit in seek somebody it's like oh my god oh my god I don't, I don't want to do no more. I don't want to finish this. Like, I honestly just, let's get some advice because I'm over it. This, this is weird as fuck. This person, the letters B or J could be significant. It's something about family here as well. It's something here about family. A Pisces could be significant. This is the only major arcana out here. And the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. Virgo could be significant. Somebody could even be trying to target your health. Okay, Virgo, sixth house, sixth house energy rules health. Okay. It's something here about... You got the Empress, the High Priestess. This feels... The High Priestess and the Empress are both divine mass... I'm sorry. Ip it, ip it are both divine feminines right and then you got temperance earth angel okay you can resonate with those energies right earth angel um divine feminine things like that okay stay grounded right now try to try to make sure you are getting out in nature Okay, you have the Empress says, I enjoy nature and ground myself in her beauty. <sighs> There's something here that you are establishing for yourself. Excuse me, y'all, the magician, yo. The magician, yo. It could be a Virgo. Shit, look, we're not gonna do that spirit. Anyway, what is Pisces? I'm sorry, Pisces, not Pisces, collective. <laughs> what does the collective not see coming in the next 48 spirit? It's something here about pigs, y'all, okay? Maybe cut out pigs, okay? It says the pig, whether near or far, is an omen of phenomenal luck and great abundance. High honor in all ambitions attained. Somebody want to slow it down. I feel like somebody could have even got a reading on you. Okay, this could be somebody in your fucking family, bro. That shit be blowing my mind, y'all. A Gemini could be very significant. A cancer. Somebody has been doing fucking magic, bro. <laughs> they could be using the phases of the moon. I started off giving y'all damn where the moon. What? 
everything be significant to me. 12, 13, you could be seeing this number. It's like the third time I've seen this number in the last 24 hours or 12, 14. But 12, 13, most deaf. All right. Three of swords. Like, you. Sorry. Sorry. You obtain attaining excuse me you attaining some level of success notoriety all joy good luck abundance is irritating the fuck out of somebody it's giving me an energy of uh, like i'm the only one that can have this type of shit or something or i don't know it feels very competitive i don't even see the five of wands but it's giving me that energy and i don't like it somebody is also trying to affect your fucking emotions y'all this could be somebody in a freaking family bro pisces scorpio cancer what is this 10 10 again y'all somebody wants to like disrupt your messages Okay, that could be that could be literal or we could be talking spiritual, okay? So just put the energy where it goes, right? Like somebody it's, it's almost like I'm seeing somebody cross wires, right? Like they want to, oh my god, somebody is putting up somebody might want to wear a cross because I feel like somebody's trying to put a crossing on you like a fucking hex. This is so low vibrational. It's really making me uncomfortable. <laughs> And we got more doubles. 33. All right. I'm not going to, I'm not saying that spirit. Okay. 333 three, three. with the Three of Swords. Like it's a painful truth for somebody to witness something that you got going on. Somebody could feel like you got everything. Okay. Or something. Pisces, Cancer, big time. Gemini. Pisces. What do they not see coming in the next 48, please? Two of them fell out. All right, you have... Somebody is very much in a masculine energy. Okay, whether it's a dude or a girl, you understand me? Somebody is really in their masculine energy. Again, the number two, 22, all right? So that's the two of freaking cups, y'all. All right, this could be a lover. Like, real talk at this point. Somebody could, like, be trying to quit alcohol or something. Or it's something about drinking because that came out earlier, too. Like, somebody could be drinking a lot more or something. I mean, okay, listen because i'm getting two messages here May, okay you could like somebody could have stopped drinking or something but somebody else could be like overdoing it i don't know so this is like the querent somebody's getting readings on you bro You got the seven of pentacles. They've been doing this for a minute. Mm, what you don't see coming. The number 38 could be significant. 11. All right. Your life path number could be 11, 7, 2, 6. All right. It says flames on the hearth indicate good fortune. Eh. And neutralizes the evil. Okay, I'm sorry of near line unlucky cars and increases the value of the lucky ones i'm telling you look don't doubt god have faith and trust especially if you're in the thick of whatever this person was trying to send to you all right ill for some of y'all it's nothing more than very much evil eye jealousy envy type of energy that is being sent out towards you that green that green there's also an envious high priestess. An envious, like, they could read tarot. They could have, like, something about their intuition could be, high, like, they could have, be tapped in. And I said something about wearing a cross, okay? Somebody could, like, wearing fancy shoes or some shit. Fucking snake skin, fucking mermaid skin, nigga, fish skin. I don't know. <laughs> God, oh, no, shit. 
Somebody could have two dogs or a pet or something, or even a, 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 a shit, I heard a crustacean. Um, they could like crabs, but like a, a reptile or something. The color green is very much sticking out to me, y'all. Put that energy where it go. Whether you look at green as money, as love, whatever. The color green. Somebody has been using the phases of the moon too. Whether this is you or this evil ass, weird ass, dumb ass, ignorant ass, jealous ass energy over here. This secretive magician. This person, I, I feel like this is somebody who doesn't even like like they they're not a um oh god what do you call it they're not a seasoned like they're they don't get paid to do magic i feel like this person is like a fucking kitchen magician or they could have paid somebody like i don't i feel like it's something was done in secret you got the moon and the high priestess out here Somebody wants something to befall you. I don't even know if that's a word. That's what I heard. All right. So you got the hearth here, whatever that is. All right. Something's going to come crashing and burning here. Real talk. Flames on the hearth indicate good fortune and neutralizes the evil. Neutralizes evil. Transmutation, alchemy, temperance. Okay, your angels are transmuting this shit. Yeah. The heart signifies great joy when near. Eight of Pentacles. No, I'm sorry, it's the Nine of Pentacles. That's my single sex and celibate card. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles is. All right. Last few cards, Spirit. What do they not see coming in the next 48? Let me get these cards together. A Leo could be very, very significant, child. You literally got the fucking line. All right, a Leo could be lying, okay? A lie. <laughs> it says the lion presages a sudden shock from bad news. So a Leo, all right, you could be a Leo, all right, might give you some bad news or they may receive some bad news. Oh my God. Somebody could have had something about a fire. It's literally coming right behind this fire. What the fuck? Lightning could have caused a fire or something. The lightning is right over the fire. I don't know. Put the energy where it go. Something about a car too. All right, the year is 67, 76, 62, 66 could be significant, all right? 68, 86, 87, 82, all right? There you go again, three of swords. It's like somebody, y'all, this is so freaking ridiculous. Your good luck is bad news for someone else. What's wrong with them, Lord? Six of Pentacles. Don't worry. Whatever this person is putting out into the universe, their ass is going to get it back. Period. The money's safe. I knew it. Somebody lost property here or they will be losing property. I'm telling you, the coffin is here and it says the coffin foretells acute illness or loss of property when near the person, when distant, a probability of averting evil, right? I'm feeling like some, I don't know if it's a car, or I don't know, some sort of property. You even have the home here, all right? You got the family here, all right? And it's homes in this as well, Okay. All right, but it could be a mode of transportation for somebody. I don't know. Y'all, I don't like this. I really don't. And I'm still pulling cards, ain't it? Mm -mm. What is it? A 
Oh, somebody been at work, baby. Somebody been working hard for this shit. The rapiers warn us against assaults which threaten and will occur sooner or later according to the distance from the person. It's right up under a person, okay? A querent card. Assaults. A air sign could be significant with them swords down there. It's something about a high honor right here. This could really be family, y'all. I'm telling you. You got the seals back here, right? Look, they look like a family crest. A seal. I don't know what the hell a rapier. 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 R A P I E R S. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's the swords down there or this damn thing right here. All right, but this is the Ace of Swords, Clarity. Definitely air sign could be significant. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. These could be your, one of those could be your signs. Yeah, you you got that down here too. I forgot to say that earlier. Somebody here could already be dealing with a lot. And it's like, you may not be the type to tell everybody your problems, Okay, you might definitely be, you know what I'm saying? Like on some high priestess type shit. You keep most of your shit to yourself. Kind of secretive, a little elusive. Yet, you still shining or something. How do I say? Okay. All right. Uh, last few cards. What they don't see coming in the next 48. The Nine of Wands. Somebody could have military background. All right, it says the park foretells a new love when very near. If distant false friends, pick up a resume. Last few cards, what they don't see coming. Children could be significant, all right? All right, you could even have known this person since a child. You got the queen of pentacles here. This is mama type shit. This could be a parent. You got the king and the queen of pentacles out here. This is family, y'all. All right? For, for, gotta be the majority. Either family or somebody that you partnered with. A partnership. Really, honestly, it could be anything, y'all. Because it was a boss earlier. You got friends, loved ones. Like, your, your homies. All right? And then you got partnerships right here. With the two of, two of love. Two of cups. Two of heart. <sighs> Last card, please, spirit. What they don't see coming in the next 48. Like, just be careful of fake ass friends. That's what I'm feeling like. Fake ass friends, because this queen of gives me very much like, hi, how are you? Oh, how have you been? Tell me every don't tell that whole nothing. Don't tell that ninja nothing. You understand me? Peep game. Real talk. Cause I feel like somebody just want to know some shit so they can use that against you to be honest, bro. Real talk. You got the 40, uh, 46. It says the railroad forecasts a long journey. If near a serious accident, if, if I'm sorry, if near 44, a serious accident, if near 29, okay, a robbery. I don't see none of them cars out here. None of those numbers. All right. I forgot the name of this deck, y'all, but that's what it looked like on the back, okay? Some of, I don't know. I felt like I heard somebody, oh, what that, where them cards come from? I got them on Amazon a long time ago and never really used in the two of clubs. It's so, even the journey, okay, a long journey. I don't know about that one. Give me a second. Tell me about this uh, two of clubs, please, two of wands. The two of wands talks about like planning, um, like getting organized, getting ready to go out into the world, knowing that the world is your oyster, right? The world is yours and everything in it. Get out there. Get on your grind and get it. <laughs> but it's planning before you go out the comfort of your home, before you go out and put yourself out there, before, before the three of wands, which is growth, expansion, waiting on your ships to come in, you got the two of wands that's planning for that shit, right? Okay, you could have been planning something for a long time or this person could have, all right? You can even have a child with this person, okay? All right, 
<sighs> just pick up what resonates y'all somebody this could be okay you gotta <laughs> it's like something somebody someone wants to bind you up y'all i'm finna go bro and then you got extra joker for for some of y'all this is a lover this is a part partner the king and the queen of cups just came out that's the second time these ninjas that came out all right this could even be a couple trying to go against you what the fuck i'm so over this i don't know. spirit handle my handle my light my light wait okay my light work <laughs> All right, it says the number 23 and the number 24. All right, the ring denotes when to the... Wait. A rich and happy marriage. It, it was going to the right. Um, I'm doing a reading. Sorry, y'all. Um, children could be significant for real. But, okay, the, the Queen of Cups, number 23, indicates a rich and happy marriage, right? The number 24, the King of Cups, says hand in hand indicates confiding disposition when in close proximity to all these damn numbers. Friendships will warm, what? Will warm into love when near 45, favor will be found with superiors, near 48, financial success. So, both of these cards are really, really good. Um, but it's definitely talking about some some sort of commitment, contract, marriage, uh, joining of two. Partnership, y'all. Okay, the Hierophant was out here earlier. This could be marriage or this could be a high-level position that somebody was holding or does hold. High honor is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. Advice for the collector. And let's dip. Advice for the collective, please. Baby, don't you worry. Everything is being worked out in your favor. You're going to see the return on your investment. And so is that other person that's aiming shit towards you. They're going to reap what they sow. You are going to reap what you sow, right? So don't even worry about these hoes. Don't even send them hoes no energy, bro. I'm telling you. Fuck them niggas. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Forget them joints, okay? Forget them. All right, somebody could smoke weed. All right, okay? Somebody could like to roll it in like natural papers or like hemp, hemp papers or even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's this called? Hemp. Hemp cones or shit. Like, okay. All right, but you got a Sagittarius can be very significant here, but be the earth angel that you are. Don't let nobody take you up out of your energy, baby. Okay, be the leader that you are. Stand strong in your power, whether you're a woman or a man. King of Wands is a very passionate leader. He is very attractive. You understand me? He executes effectively whatever the hell he's executing. All right, so keep charging forward. Keep being who you are. All right continue to lead with love and know that everything is being worked out in your favor everything is being balanced and transmuted you got your angels on your sides and it's also another angel spirit or energy that is a special one is what i'm hearing i don't know what that means y'all pray about it okay ask god for clarity but it's something about like a fairy or a gnome or a damn dragon or something like that i don't know okay one of them angels in the bible i don't care something let me see if that book over here I must have put it back in the in the front. But it was like a, a herbal magic book that I got or something. Like nature magic or some shit. I don't know. Go spend time in nature though. Like even her, she's bound up by nature. Right? It's something about... I'm telling you. I'm t My ninjas, look at what it say, bro. Codes in nature. Go out in nature. I feel like this will be a part of your answer, a part of a resolution or some shit. An Aquarius could be very much significant. So just keep the faith and the hope, my love, okay? I feel like 
you are in this energy. You are a star. You radiate, especially with the temperance as well, Sagittarius and Aquarius energy. Like somebody here is held in high honor and God ain't finna just let no anybody just come run up in your shit and try to, all right, yes, yeah, somebody needs to go into nature, bro. Somebody needs to take a quiet retreat, silent retreat, right? Go listen to Mama Gaia's heartbeat or some shit, okay? I'm telling you, somebody in the medical field here, they got a, a stethoscope, all right? Medical field could be significant. All right, y'all. That movie, um, Avatar, could be significant, too. This is giving me very much ancestor energy as well. I love you so much, Collective. Don't forget to go check out our other channel, Planet Pisces. All right. Whether you are a Pisces, you have it somewhere in your chart or you're dating one. Okay. Or just want to cross watch and see what's going on with the Pisces in your life. All right. I will leave a link to the um, other channel over here somewhere. I believe it is. Okay. Um, and I do believe, oh, and also readings are back open. They, uh, are returned within 72 hours and there are multiple modes of payment now. So check out, um, the link down below to book your reading today. And I love you all so much. I'll see y'all later.